After another weekend of violent protests in Hong Kong, Beijing condemns the demonstrators and comes out in full support of Carrie Lam. And it's first news briefing on the city since the end of British rule. Joining us now for more is our senior international editor, Jody Schneider in Hong Kong. Jody, were there any surprises in the press conference other than the fact that they held a press conference in the very first place? Right. Well, yes, in and of itself, this was an important briefing. Uh, we don't mm -hmm. usually hear uh, from the Chinese government and this, this uh, office reports directly to the Chinese cabinet um, about affairs in Hong Kong. So uh, after eight straight weekends of protest, uh, the fact that this was being held was important. No real surprises. Uh, the briefers basically said that uh, they stood by Carrie Lam, they stood by the government here, they thought the police had the tools they needed to do the job, uh, they be and they, but they were restrained in their approach. Uh, they did not, for instance, mention the U.S. or, or uh, more critical language of the U.S. in terms of foreign influence, which uh, has been said in some of the Chinese, uh, the state-run press mm -hmm. before about the protests. So they were attempting to be mm -hmm. restrained here and to uh, make it clear that uh, they don't uh, want to see this kind of violence in Hong Kong, but that they think that the police and the government here can handle it.